Okay, so now we're at the part that's my least favorite. Packing everything in the bags. I'm about maybe halfway through, uh, and I'm getting a little nervous. Not really sure we're gonna fit everything this time, but let's see, let's check it out. So this is my madness right now. I've got two of our suitcases. We've got old blue and yellow boy over here for all of our clothes. We've got our backpacks over here for all of our tech stuff. Um, we have quite a bit of extra stuff this time, it seems like, so I'm a little nervous. We have these space saver bags, so hopefully this condenses everything and it makes things a little better for us, but we also have the packing cubes, which we use every single time, but we only have three of these. So, let's see if we can make some magic happen. This is the part that I hate the most, but we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna try to get it done in record time. Um, okay, so I got my matcha, let's get started. I'm doing this between meetings, so you know, remote life. I'm gonna start off with what actually like packing my thing in my toiletry bag for the plane. That way it's easy to get those things out of the way. I'm not gonna play this Tetris right now, but um, everything that you bring in your carry-on with you, I'm sure majority of people know, just has to be under 100 milliliters. So I always still just like double check because the last thing I want is to be that person that gets their bag cold just because I accidentally packed a product that's too big. Also, fun fact, don't ever try it. I like one time had like a regular size bottle or something, but I had like a little bit of like my cellar water left in it, which it definitely wasn't like 100 mLs, it was like less than that. And they still made me toss it because it wasn't like in a container that was under 100 mLs. So don't try it if you don't want to lose your product. That I will put on the plane with me. And this is where my anxiety starts. Let me make up shit and get that out of the way. I've at least like cut down my makeup a lot like I used to have a shit ton of makeup but I think now that I like prefer to invest in my skincare as you can freaking tell that my makeup is like cut down so this is literally all the makeup that like I have and then this is just like makeup brushes and hair clips and shit so. A really good travel tip when it comes to like toothbrushes. Nick and I have been using these for years. Um, I believe the company's called Quip. It's like an online subscription that you can have like delivered and they like deliver like your replacement heads. I believe they're for $5. They're also available now at Target, but I think that it's a little bit more expensive at Target, but it's great because it's sleek, you know, it's battery operated too. Um, but then it's just like very easy and small to travel because I know some of those electric toothbrushes can be pretty clunky. And then two, just like having replacement heads with us while we travel is super easy because they don't take up a bunch of space. This is the only hair tool that I have. I can straighten my hair with it. I can curl my hair with it. Um, the only thing is to make sure if you are traveling to actually bring like an adapter and a converter. This one I use specifically because it's strong enough to uphold whatever voltage this is. Otherwise, if you try to put it in just a regular adapter, you might blow a fuse in wherever you're staying and then also ruin your hair tool. I've ruined like a curler before and I think like a travel steamer too. So ever since there, I just kind of invested in this. I'll put a link down below, but I believe it's like 30 bucks on Amazon, but lifesaver. This is probably an obvious one, but I usually try to just take things out of their original packaging if it's like bulky, just because like that could have taken way more space up. Now it's just like these little vials. 
consolidate as much as possible because every square inch matters. <laughs> Every square centimeter. <laughs> this is just like our travel first aid kit, you can call it. I just have like a bunch of random things in here. Anything from like a leave to like my inhaler or like cold medicine, that sort of thing where it's just like, yes, you can get them at like any pharmacy while you're abroad, but in case like if I'm not feeling well during traveling or like Nick isn't, um, then at least like we have like something to go to right away. And then sometimes too, like we collect things along the way. Like we had like whatever version of Theraflu here in Spain. So then like I have some of that in here. So if we do get like sick in the future that we have something. Something a bit more high maintenance. Yes, we travel with like colognes, um, Nick has like these two and I have these, but like they're pretty unisex. I really like Jo Malone and you can kind of like mix and match. So we do use them like pretty often. So at least it's nice to have like small luxuries while you're traveling. Another great, great tip is I get my contacts from Warby Parker and like this is like two months worth of contacts, which is insane. So great, great travel hack as well. So if you do have contacts, check them out, see if you can get a prescription for their brand instead, because the packaging saving is insane. <laughs> One other quick tip, just because I have to go jump into a meeting and then I'll still continue packing. Um, Nick and I share this like face wash and body, or well, face wash and body and face lotion from CeraVe. I like these because like I said, I can get them everywhere just like Bioderma, but then on long haul travels, I just have like smaller bottles and then We'll keep those alongside so that these can then just go in the check bag because they're also too big. But then I still have like face wash and uh, face lotion for like long haul flights when I want to wash my face. Now, time to go to a meeting. I'll see you in a bit. I didn't even realize I got halfway through packing these face bags. I didn't even show you how they work. Let's check it out. Okay, so if you got these little clippy guys that go on here. Well, I'm gonna put you on for a second, hang on. Okay, once the clippy guys are on here, they act like a zipper. So you just zip the bag closed. Okay, I'm gonna put you down one more time. Once the bag is closed, make sure the thing is in the open. Open is good. Take this little air thing, put it on, and let the suction begin. Squeeze out some of the air pockets. Sounds like we're about to take off into the stratosphere here. Okay, and then we lock it up. And we have this nice little thin thing of clothes. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we finished with the blue suitcase, I think. Still a little nervous. Still quite a bit to fit in the yellow one. Really, really hoping this fits. Let's let's get back to work. So this is all of those cosmetics and toiletries that I just packed up and played a bunch of Tetris with. Normally everything fits in the toiletry bags that we have, so this is obviously like the excess stuff, but I'm hoping that by our next trip, whenever we leave Florence, this will be back to normal of just those things, which already is a lot, but like I said, this is both for me and Nick, even though majority of it is mine. Okay, I think we're done. I think we have everything that we're gonna fit in these bags, but watch this. Hannah, is there any last call for anything that we need to put in these bags? How much room you got? I'm sorry, what? How much room do you have? Zero. Negative. We have no room. You just told me we did. No. Where's your secret spot? I have no secret spot You this have time. secret room. No. Look at all this room. I'm not sure everything's packed, but we're going to close these anyways. We have extra space. It'll be okay. I don't know if we're gonna make weight tomorrow. We will. We always do. I am fairly positive we're not. Oh, you had to extend it. Oh, yeah, we have to. 
We always have to extend it. They should just make bigger suitcases for people like us. Oh my god. This one should be easier, I think. This one always gives me the problem because of the side zipper thing. Mm -hmm. We like to have one of our like, little packets of stuff over there. It's like a secret spot, but it's not really a secret spot when I have to... Because I just always shove shit in there? Yeah. Oh, there's more room in that Shh. one. There's no room. We're full. <laughs> Wait, what about our dirty clothes in the morning? <laughs> Morning. We got everything packed. Good to go. Got it. Oh. And guess what? What? It all fit. It all fit. <laughs> yeah, it all fit in the bags. Much to my surprise. Um, I told you. It fit. I didn't think it was gonna fit in those bags. There's no way. We got more stuff than we did when we get. It doesn't matter. Okay. Anyways, we got everything packed. We're ready to go to the airport. Our taxi's gonna pick us up in like 25 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go take out the trash, do laundry, or do the, not do the laundry, do the dishes, drink some coffee, and then we're gonna GTFO. Let's go. Okay. I think your breathing tells it all. We made it to the airport. Uh, right on time. Security. Right on time. We got their security. We're barely. early. We're early for once. That never happens. Um, got two out of our three bags checked in security, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it had a small scare going through security. Well, like That's first, fun. like I saw you like fumbling with like the TSA agent and I was like, yeah, like our bags always tend to get like flagged and they want to open it up because in our backpacks, like we have all of our tech stuff, all of our laptops are in there, even though we like take that stuff out. It's just a lot of stuff in one place, which I get because probably when they see it on the screen, they're like WTF is all this. Um, but for me, I got flagged to have like my hands wiped. So I think like, I don't know what the pro- We're handling explosives, gunpowder. Baby. Just like you're at an airport, you can't be saying that shit. <laughs> like, next thing I'm gonna get tackled. Okay? <laughs> like, fine. God. I got flag pulled to the side, and like, he had to like wipe my hands, put the little thing in the machine, check it. And like, the machine's in Spanish, and I see that it says like accepted, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm good. And then the TSA guard just like looks at me dead in my face, and he's like, ma'am. You tested positive for COVID. You're gonna have to quarantine in Barcelona for two weeks. And I'm over here like, like I'm a nurse. Like I know, like you know, you, you swab, and I'm over here like, oh my god, have they come out with a new form of testing that I don't know about? <laughs> and then I'm like over here like, oh, like I have a sore throat. Like, do I have? COVID? And he's being like dead ass serious, and he's like, I'm like, what? No, and he's like, you tested positive. We're gonna have to quarantine you, like, please step aside. And then he goes, I'm just kidding with you. And I literally almost lost it. Like, I was like, Nick's over here on the side. I'm over here getting told I have COVID. And I'm like, okay, bye husband. Overall, 10 out of 10 experience. I'm still shook. <laughs> But we're, now we're just waiting. We got through and we found a Starbucks that has this like nice outdoor terrace. Yeah, I've uh, never I've never seen like an outdoor terrace in an airport before. Like yeah. it's always just those smoking lounges, but it's like the this Starbucks is, like is way, literally outside. This and is then way nicer. Is. If you ever are in the Barcelona <laughs> airport, highly yeah. recommend checking it out. And where are we heading to next, Nick? We are going to Florence, Italy. Mm. Well, we're going back. Yeah, we're going back to Florence. Yeah. We've been there before. We're gonna be there for a month this time. It's gonna be really great. We have some friends there now, mm -hmm. so I'll introduce you to, to some of them. Um, but some yeah, of my family's gonna come visit us as well. Yeah, I'm drinking this. See you at the gate. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next week when we'll be traveling around Italy.